Jeremy, Jeremy Beadle. Jeremy Beadle. Who died today? It was only this week that TV presenter Jeremy Beadle was filmed doing what he liked best, sitting at home watching videotapes of the TV presenter Jeremy Beadle. Some said he was a fat, untalented, sadistic, pointy-bearded, short-arsed, common-as-muck wide boy of a human grease gun whose only pleasure was tormenting gormless members of the public. His critics were less kind. Many suggested that his hoaxing fixation was due to his withered hand, which, like his sense of humour, had never grown up and remained forever schoolboy-sized. Born Jeremy Beadle, Jeremy Beadle spent his childhood in Penury, a charming coastal town in Cornwall. But there was tragedy because, like his hero, Nietzsche, he was picked on by other children because of his deformity. However, unlike his hero, Nietzsche, he did not take revenge against humanity by writing apocalyptic philosophy, but by hosting imbecilic TV shows. Beadle perfected an ingenious TV format where you, the public, were the stars, yet he and the production company took the lion's share of the money. Please, please keep sending in those wonderful clips, and who knows, next time, the star of the show could be you. Many viewers complained that pranks were so contrived that they didn't just strain credulity. Do you know that you've got lipstick all over your ear? They left it with a double hernia and needing a truss. But like many intellectuals, he adored alliteration, always denying that it was easier than thinking of real jokes. The menagerie of feline follies, canine catastrophes and fluffy foul-ups. Cocktail of classic calamities, your favourite flock of four-legged friends. Some said of his practical jokes that if the victim's IQ was really as low as it appeared to be, then he might as well have gone the whole hog and filmed the mentally subnormal. Or like this chap, merely physically challenged. But the public eventually tired of his routines and said it was high time that Beadle was no longer about. His audience turned against him. Seemingly missing from British TV, he took refuge in vile acts of bestiality and was forced to flee the country. He left Britain in the Beadle's About helicopter, tragically forgetting that it was fitted with a joke ejector seat. Somewhere over the channel, he accidentally pressed the button and a split second before the helicopter exploded, he was shot clean through the rotor blades and emerged as 380 pounds of finely chopped bearded salami. He leaves two gloves, one large, one small. Jeremy Beadle.